Yes, I wish I was. Kids are the kids one bit. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? Item boost is amazing. High potion is pretty much a full heal. Uh, I don't use items, so it's worthless to me. The only time I use an item is an elixir. What does item boost do for an elixir? Make it heal all my MP and HP like it does without item boost on? I have far more important things to use my AP on than that. I get it! Cyclone. Oh my word. They're all dead. I slaughtered them. Yeah, invisible wall. I can't jump off the edge even if I wanted. Hey there. Show us, show some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore... It would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Sora doesn't know how to read! Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Read the book as if Sora can read. Don't lie to me. We have to read that book like Master Yinsen said. We've been asleep for a while, so we need to know what's been going on. Okay. Yensid, can you please give me my new threads already? <laughs> That's what I really need. This is a strange tower. I wonder why it was built. Adventuring rule number eight. Search every corner of a new place. Where, where did these adventuring rules come from? That book contains important knowledge. Be sure to read it. <sighs> Do I have to read the book? Which will you read? The beginning, interlude, the future city, the story? Oh, is this just a recap of the other Kingdom Hearts games? Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell, and a farewell leads to a journey towards open their hearts. There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness. Friends who share the same bonds as other paths may differ when you doubt a path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gazing you at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. This book is worthless. Interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell, hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze and you at your steps, for there all confusion will end. Sure. The future story. Will the day come when this battle, born of confusion, will end? It is 
different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid and trust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. Sure. What a good use of time that was. But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. I knew it. Donald, destroy him. My ultimate foe. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away, a spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence, for you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then. The being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of Dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness, but... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobody is function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the King first. What world does he mean? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the King must know where Riku is. Because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. 
Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Thank goodness. Get me out of this outfit. Cage one Sora outfit is the worst of them all. Like every other outfit is better. Me, you guys, Riku and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With five of us, I mean six of us, there's nothing to worry about. Right? Let's get it. These are the fairies from uh, Sleeping Beauty, right? These clothes will help you only as much as your growth allows. Their true potential lies dormant. It's your job to unleash it. We've been told about you. Hurry up and try on your new clothes. That is, after you've prepared for your journey, of course. So all of the mirrors have something to do with a different drive form, don't they? An image of you overcome by the power of darkness flows into your mind. That's Auntie Sora. An image of the Keyblade unleashing its ultimate power flows into your mind. That's either Master Form or Final Form. No, not you. An image of you possessing all abilities flows into your mind. That's probably Final Form. The other one is Master Form. An image of you obtaining old powers flows into your mind. This one is Final Mix only because that's Limit Form. An image of you utilizing your strength to its fullest flows into your mind. That's Valor. An image of you utilizing your magic to its fullest flows into your mind. That's Wisdom. All right. Once you've changed, you're off. Let's do it. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. No, oh, that will never do. Now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. That's fine. I don't have a world to save or anything. No big deal. Ah, uh, would you just decide? Oh, well. <laughs> All right, then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Two keyblades! This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> your garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, boy! Nice, Star Seeker. What was I about to say? I was gonna say something, but I don't remember. I forgot you got Valor right out the gate. You have to wait a while to get Wisdom. Drive Command has been added. Gauge in the lower right is consumed transformation. It's powerful and absorbs party members' strength. Party members disappear while transformed, yada yada. Uh, excuse me, there appears to be only one zipper on this outfit. I remember ordering 73 different zippers. Where did they all go? Where are all my zippers at? All right, cool. Huh? Sora, I think you dropped something. Huh? 
Huh? Must have fallen out of your pocket. What is it? Part of a picture? Aw, oh, puzzle pieces, boys. Is this a gift, too? Oh, we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. In fact, you should hold on to any other pieces you come across on your journey. I'll make sure to note them in my journal. Nice. You've obtained a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces scattered over the world. Some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. You collect the pieces in the journal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But, be warned, as you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths, corridors of darkness, to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How does that feel? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Watson! We sure do appreciate the help. Why did Jensen vanish? Where is he going? This is his tower. This is like where he lives. My goodness, what's that? That's a bird. Someone get a gun! Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, Malefa! No. We mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. Wait, you teleported. Why'd you even open the door? Maleficent! Why did they open the door? Doing good, man. Been playing for almost four hours. Still feel like I'm in the tutorial. You know, classic uh, JRPG shenanigans. Welcome to stream, Teddy. It's your favorite gummy 
engineers here ready for duty. Chip. And bail. Happy flying. Only one? That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. Yay, I know how to move the gummy ship. Oh, boy. Good old hollow bastion. We got these places over here covered in darkness. Alright, so we still have to go through the stuff in here, which is pretty much more glorified tutorial, basically. And then we finally, then we can finally start making some progress up in here. <laughs>